Hi, Bob Abel here at Sandia National Laboratories. We're in the very heart, the, the bowels of the laboratory where fusion uh, experiments and all kinds of uh, light interfer interference experiments are conducted. Although actually the heart of it is, uh, well, it's, it's the kitchen. But, you know, you gotta start somewhere, that's the thing. I'm working my way up. I wanted to talk about interference of light, uh, interference of waves in general. If you look at, if you look at these sets, you can always see colors in the bubbles. And why do the bubbles have different colors? What is it about that, that iridescence of the bubbles? Well, let's find out. It's due to wave interference. If I have For light, the different colors of light are just different wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. So red light may have a certain frequency or a certain period. Purple light purple light shorter. Now when you add all these waves together, the, the red and the orange and the green and the yellow and the blue and the violet, it all adds up to, to white light. But it's still lots of different discrete wavelengths moving along together. You can do things to separate them out. Let me tell you how they add first. Waves add arithmetically. So for example, if I have a wave like this with a certain period, and I'll add another wave to it, the same period, but it's slightly askew, it's off just a little bit. We say it's out of phase. Well, if you wanted to find the total wave, you just add the two together. You'd say, okay, um, Right here, this wave plus this wave, that's this far, that's how high it is. I just add the two amplitudes together. Over here, I've got a negative and a positive, they're about the same amount, and they add to zero. Over here, I've got, let's see, this one hits zero, this is right there. So zero plus this value, right there. Um, a little further along, let's see, this is positive, this is negative, a little bit less. You can see what's happening, I'm starting to build a wave. This, these are both negative right here where they cross, so it's going to be twice that. So what happens is, you start building a new wave out of the individuals. But what you do is you go along each point, and you just add each component together. Now, the result of that depends on how far out of phase they are. And by phase, one cycle, we call one cycle of a phase 360 degrees because 360 degrees is a circle. And once you complete the circle, you start all over again. Same with the wave. So, for example, and we can pick it, we can start anywhere we want. Well, let's say we start at zero degrees here. And we finish, there's a complete cycle right there. That's 360 degrees. Well, halfway through, that'd be 180 degrees. And a quarter of the way through, that'd be 45 degrees. And that's the phase of the wave. And you can start at any point as long as you have a complete cycle. And we use phases to determine how waves are in relation to each other. So for example, I'll take uh, two waves that are 180 degrees apart. Now, an entire wave, 
Let's look at the black. The entire wave goes up and down, now it's complete. That's 360 degrees. Now this wave is starting a half a cycle later. Half of 360 is 180 degrees. So these two waves are 180 degrees out of phase. If I add them together, they're the exact opposite of each other. So their, their amplitudes, their displacement at each point is equal and opposite. So, you know, maybe this is plus two inches, this is minus two inches, it's going to be zero. Do that a little wrong. These have the same amplitude, same period. I'm going to get a flat line. This is called complete destructive interference. Uh, dead spots in an auditorium. Uh, that happens when sound bounces off one wall and comes back and the two sound waves interfere with each other. And if they cancel each other off, you get dead spots. That's complete destructive interference 180 degrees out of phase. If they're completely in phase, you get something like this. Now, there's no phase shift here, zero degrees. That's completely constructive interference. This is destructive. This is constructive. Interference. Now these are going to produce, it's destructive because they, when you add together the waves, they have a smaller amplitude than each of the individual waves. Here, when I add together these two waves, the resulting wave is going to have a bigger amplitude. Same period. Right? It's going to be twice as high here, twice as low there. And the resulting wave will have the same period, the same phase, but it'll have twice the amplitude. Because, like I said, at each point, the wave amplitudes just add together. And that's how waves superimpose on each other. Now, you can imagine it get very complicated when you've got multiple periodic waves of multiple periods and multiple amplitudes. And that's like uh, what we saw when we looked at the water in the ocean. Let's see. You want to practice adding these. I know if you're taking my class, you've got a textbook of examples and problems that you do. But you need to do this by hand to make sure you got it right. I didn't explain the color in the bubbles yet, so let me do that. The bubble is a thin film. This is the thickness of the bubble. That waves will come down. So waves will come down and it'll all look white like white light because it's coming down from the sky. Or the light up here. Waves come down. And some of them bounce off the surface of the bubble. Some of them Some of them go all the way through. So some bounce off the top. Some of them penetrate through the bubble, go to the other side of it. It's a thin film. It bounces back out. All the wavelengths are doing this, even the long wavelengths. Now. I know this is hard to see, but look what happened with the green light when it bounced. When it bounced out, when it bounced out, that path it took coming through was just one wavelength or more, a multiple. So when it came out, it was completely in phase. So these two greens are completely in phase. So they're going to amplify, so you're going to get a strong green. Whereas the reds here, this path, it wasn't quite, this, it's a different wavelength, so the path happens as it wound up. Now we're out of phase. This is going up, 
And this one's going down. And so what happens is these red waves reflected and the one that passed through, they cancel each other out. So you're going to see green and no red. But the bubble has different thicknesses. And so as the thickness changes, the colors that are constructively interfered with and the colors that are destructively interfered with, they change. And so you see lots of different changes in the colors. If you look at an oil slick on a puddle, you'll notice you know, a gas slick, you'll see lots of different colors. What you're seeing is different thicknesses in the bubble. So that's constructive and destructive interference and superposition of waves. Just remember, wave amplitudes add.